In a pragmatic move to address its regional aviation needs, Russia is pushing forward with the modernization of the AN-2 biplane into the TVS-2 DTS, rather than waiting for the promised LMS-901 Baikal aircraft. This decision underscores the country's pressing requirement for dependable small aircraft across its extensive territory, with a particular emphasis on Siberia and the Far East. The TVS-2 DTS, a modernized version of the AN-2 biplane, has emerged as a crucial stopgap measure. The story of this aircraft begins with Rusaviaprom, a company established in 2011 with the specific goal of modernizing the AN-2 multipurpose aircraft. The aircraft's propulsion system is the focal point of this modernization endeavor. The TR-33112 model of the turboprop engine from Honeywell Garrett, an American company, was selected by Rusaviaprom as a bold choice. This engine is coupled with a five-bladed propeller from Hartzell, another American company, as well as numerous other updated instruments and components. The geopolitical context of this decision is what renders it particularly intriguing. There is a substantial supply of TR-33112 engines with a considerable remaining operational life available on the secondary market, despite the numerous sanctions imposed on Russia. Rusaviaprom has been able to continue its modernization program despite international restrictions as a result of this availability. The outcome of this modernization is an aircraft that substantially reduces operational costs in comparison to its predecessor. 27 of these aircraft have been produced by Rusaviaprom in Novosibirsk, and they have demonstrated their reliability with more than 25,000 flight hours. These aircraft have been providing a lifeline for remote communities in regions such as Irkutsk, Chita, Magadan, and Blagoveshchensk for the past eight years. Vladimir Barsuk, the general director of SIBNIA, is an avid supporter of the immediate deployment of the TVS-2 DTS. He emphasizes that the aircraft's significance in these remote regions is underscored by the fact that approximately 20 of the 25 aircraft that were produced are presently active in the Siberian and Far Eastern districts. The modernization endeavors have resulted in substantial enhancements to the original AN-2. With a 1.5-fold increase in maximum flight range, the TVS-2 DTS has reached over 1,200 kilometers. Its operational capabilities have been expanded by doubling its maximum flight altitude to 4,000 meters. The transition from aviation petroleum to kerosene, which is less expensive, has likely had the most significant impact on the cost of operations. This, in conjunction with the extended engine overhaul intervals and reduced fuel consumption, has rendered the TVS-2 DTS an appealing alternative for regional airlines that are currently operating in difficult economic circumstances. Despite the Russian government's commitment to deliver 150 LMS-901 Baikal aircraft by 2030, the program is experiencing delays due to a variety of factors. The domestic VK800SM engine is still awaiting finalization and certification, and mass production is not expected to commence until late 2025. The initial flight with the new engine is anticipated to occur in the third quarter of 2024. However, additional delays in engine certification could further delay this date. A practical solution to Russia's immediate aviation requirements is represented by the focus on the TVS-2 DTS in light of these uncertainties. It utilizes existing AN-2 airframes with substantial remaining life to address the acute paucity of small aircraft in the Russian market. This method guarantees the preservation of critical aviation connections throughout Russia's extensive and frequently difficult terrain by offering a dependable alternative for intra-regional passenger and cargo transportation. Rusaviaprom's production strategies are indicative of this pragmatic approach. The company intends to manufacture four additional TVS-2 DTS aircraft in 2024, in addition to the two that were produced in 2023. The aviation industry is anticipating the development of newer models, and this consistent production is instrumental in satisfying the current demand. The TVS-2 DTS serves as a testament to Russia's capacity to innovate and adapt with its current resources as it continues to confront the obstacles in its aviation sector. Russia has discovered a method 
to guarantee the continuance of essential regional air services throughout its territory by modernizing a tried-and-true design and utili utilizing readily available international components. This method not only meets immediate requirements, but also provides a buffer for the development of next-generation aircraft, such as the Baikal, facilitating a more seamless transition when these new models are ultimately introduced. Now, do you think Russia should update its existing airframes till new planes arrive? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share the videos and subscribe to the channel. Please also take our memberships to encourage us.